YouTube killed my channel and I got it back. <sighs> Take effing action, put it together, and subscribe to Tom Penn's channel on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's crazy. So about six weeks ago, I started this journey of becoming a YouTube creator, right? And we have this really ambitious goal of becoming a significant channel with a million subscribers. I want to tell you that this channel is not just me. There's actually a very talented, capable team behind this channel. There is uh, Tren, who's our director. There is Tuan, who is our video editor. And then there is Kwan, who is our translator. So all the subtitles that you see below me here, they're actually translated by Kwan. And, you know, if he translates like a thug, that's because I told him, you know, translate exactly what I say, you know, like if I say fucking shit, you translate fucking shit. And so far, I think he's done a fantastic job. Uh, comment below uh, about what you think about the translations, whether it matches with uh, what I say. So there's a team behind this channel, even though you only see my face in this channel, in, in my videos, but there's actually a team of people supporting it, making it happen. Trim is incredibly creative and she works really, really hard. Uh, she literally work all day, you know, not sure about the fuck all night part, but you know, uh, she works all day and she works really hard and she wants to do something uh, really meaningful. And Tuan is really a magician, right? He makes me look good because, you know, usually when I do these uh, talks in front of the camera, I'm like, uh, 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 and he knows how to edit those parts out. So he makes me look smarter than I really am. So last week, uh, our channel was terminated by YouTube. One day in the afternoon, I think, we just found out that the channel is no longer accessible. People start telling us, where's the channel? Where's the channel? The channel's gone. And then everybody in the office start looking towards me and then trying to see how I would react to the channel missing. But of course, I was like super busy working in the office. I you know, didn't even know about an hour later that the channel was uh, terminated. So when the channel is terminated, all the videos are gone, the channel's gone, you cannot find my content anywhere in YouTube. So the, the, our very first uh, initial, like, we don't know why. Uh, YouTube sent us an email saying that we violated policy and that uh, um, specifically, uh, we were spamming, scamming, or commercially deceptive, which we are not, right? Uh, I'll go into that more in detail. But we got an email, channel's gone, uh, we don't really know why, and uh, I can see in Trin's face, I can see in Tuan's face, I can see in Kwan's face, they are really, really disappointed. Even though I can see that, you know, they're trying to stay strong and appear strong, they're devastated, they're devastated, right? Because they really worked really hard on this channel. So our, our initial thought was that maybe the Vietnamese men don't have balls, that video went too far. And my, my initial thought was that, uh, you know, that video probably went a little too far. And maybe somehow YouTube deemed it a, a violation of their policy. Uh, but I, I don't think so because, you know, I read the policy. I, before I started the channel, I did my research, not, not too much of it. I'm not the analysis paralysis kind of guy. So I did my adequate amount of research and I know that I did not violate policy. I feel very confident that YouTube made a mistake. But maybe the content in the video uh, caused people to flag the video and then that triggered the account's termination. So after the account was terminated, the team started looking at the policy and figuring out what happened. And, you know, the more we look at it, the more we realize that, you know, it's, it's impossible. Like we didn't violate the policy. And also YouTube is supposed to give us three warnings, right? So we, get, we need to get three warnings in order for them to terminate us. Uh, we didn't get that. It was immediate. And we were not spamming anyone. We uh, are not scamming anyone and we certainly are not commercially deceptive because 
We don't sell you anything. Like we, our channel doesn't sell anything. We're just here to provide helpful information to people that want to be successful. The very few of you, because most of you are shit, right? We don't really know what happened. Uh, I wrote a, an appeal letter to YouTube. So there's a link, you can appeal their termination. And all I wrote was, you know, uh, we do not do this, we do not do that, we did not violate policy, please do another review, right? That's all I wrote. In hindsight, I should have added that there are people working really hard on this channel and that we are doing something very meaningful and people do benefit from this channel and we really need to get the channel back, right? I didn't write that part, but I wrote, we didn't do anything wrong, please take a look. That night, um, my team went to have beer because they're truly devastated, they're sad. They sent me a picture of them like somewhere in Ho Chi Minh City having beer uh, with each other. Obviously they're devastated. They worked really, really hard on this channel uh, for the last month. And, you know, and we actually did fantastic because you know, in the last month, we went from zero to over a thousand subscribers. And this is really, really hard because if you look at other creators, right? Other YouTube creators, you know, for them to get a thousand subscribers, it may take them up to a year, right? We did that in one month and our growth is incredible. As of today, we have 1.2 K, which is, which is like 1200 subscribers in our channel and we're still growing like crazy. Right, so we are gonna hit that million subscribers mark. Uh, that I feel very confident. I felt that YouTube did something wrong. I don't know why they terminated our account, but I felt that they made a mistake. So I was fairly confident. I feel that I will get the channel back maybe very, very fast. And of course, thought becomes reality, right? Uh, also, another thing I wanna talk about uh, is that, you know, I can't believe my team because they've been doing my videos for so long, you know, they really got infused with my philosophy, with my teachings, with my, uh, my mindset. You know, they're saying things like, thought becomes reality, we must think positive, right? They're saying things like, hard work, you know, gives you luck. Just work harder, we'll get, we'll get the channel back. And, and just like take fucking action, you know, Google more and find out how to appeal this decision. So that night after they drink a lot of beer, they start researching and Googling and find out how to get the channel back. So I was thinking that we need to approach this in two different directions, right? So one is we're gonna try to appeal, we're gonna try to get to YouTube and get this reversed. Uh, and we're gonna start a new channel. Like we are gonna start from scratch again. If we can build 1,000 subscribers in one month, we can do it again. And this time we'll do it faster because we learn a lot of things along the way. And I also Googled the problem, of course, you know, always Google your problem, right? I Googled the problem and I see a lot of YouTube creator, they're in the same situation. They don't know why their channel was suspended uh, for no apparent reason and they, never got their channel back. A lot of them just lost their channel. And some of them, if they're lucky, they get the channel back in you know four months, six months, sometimes longer. So it looks like the odds is against us, right? So like getting the channel back in a very short time seems almost impossible. But I had faith. I believe they made a mistake. YouTube made a mistake. So uh, I had faith. I believe I was gonna get the channel back very, maybe very quickly. Uh, and next day, I think it was around 11 o'clock, you know, uh, I saw on my phone, hey, there's a notification. Hey, I just published a video because we have all our videos scheduled and oh, I, I just published a video, but the channel was dead. So how could that be possible? And I clicked through and there you go. There was my video. A and, uh, you know, obviously the channel was back and I run to the team, I announced the news and everybody checked, the channel is back, you know? Um, there was no uh, email from uh, YouTube at the time, there was no notification. The channel is just magically back. 
And of course, the team was like, yay, we got the Jello back. You know, because before that, they were planning their next step. They're going to do some research. They're going to uh, do some videos to help me sell products. They're going to start a new YouTube channel. So they're already moving in that direction. And then all of a sudden, the channel's back. So all their plans changed again. Like, let's go back and, you know, you know get to a million subscribers. So later on, we did get back an email from YouTube and they did state that after their review, they found no violation of policy. So therefore, they are returning the channel back to us. And the Vietnamese men have no boss video is still there. They did not even remove a single thing, right? Obviously, they think it's not a violation. I'm not even sure that's the video that triggered the suspension. And later on, we thought maybe some of the titles in our videos, you know, because sometimes we repeat the same sentence in the titles because we recently have a new series called Tom Responding to Fucktarts, right? So we put Tom Responding to Fucktarts in multiple videos. Maybe that's the reason it triggered uh, the suspension because the YouTube algorithm, the YouTube robots, they picked up the, uh, the, they picked up the same title names uh, in many of the videos. So maybe that triggered the suspension of our account. So we still don't really know, but I know this, YouTube thinks that our video, Vietnamese men have no balls, is okay. Because it really is okay, right? It's the truth. And I know many people cannot accept the truth. Truth is ugly. I believe Vietnamese men don't have balls. That's why you're a fucking loser. That's why you're a fucktard. You have no balls. Admit it. Start growing some. I just made a video about how to grow your balls. Watch it and become a man. Obviously, I'm talking to the men. I'm not asking the girls to become a man, but you know, if you're a man, be a man. That's, that's what I'm saying, right? And you know, our video director, Trin, she loves that Vietnamese men have no ball videos. She, it's like, she loved that video because she loves how we're telling the truth. So talking to many of the women, you know, they agree with the video. It's like, fuck yeah, finally somebody's saying it like it is. Um, there's seriously a problem that people don't want to acknowledge, but I think everybody knows. Uh, and that's what I do. I point out the ugly truth that men have gone soft in Vietnam. Being successful is hard work. There's no shortcuts. You need to make a lot of sacrifices. Everything I say is hard on the ear because nobody wants to know that. And I will continue to do that because that's what this channel is about. Because we're about real improvement in people's lives. And in order to do that, I must reveal the truth. I must tell you the truth. I must tell you the hard facts on how to achieve success and what are the problems so that we can overcome it. I'm happy that YouTube gave us the channel back. And I also like to say that this is probably the fastest uh, YouTube account suspension reversal ever in history because according to my own research, looking at you know, channels and forums and you know, talking to people, you know, this doesn't happen. Like nobody gets their channel back this fast, right? Don't be a fucktard, take fucking action.